following live sports broadcast is a presentation of the Slocum Sports Network, an affiliate of Michigan Sports Radio. This is High School Soccer on the Slocum Sports Network. It's hard to believe, but it's already postseason time as we get set for the boys soccer districts beginning today around Michigan. We have a first round matchup today from district number 34. It will be the Comstock Colts hosting the Fenville Blackhawks. Hello, I'm Jordan Slocum. Welcome to the Slocum Sports Network. We've got sunny skies, temperature in the mid-50s, and a light breeze for today. In the postseason beginning, your records ultimately don't mean anything from the past. As soon as you lose, your season comes to an end, and if you keep on winning, eventually you'll be a state champion. For Comstock, they were district champions last year. They've got a record this season of 19-2. and two. On the other side for Fenville, They've got a record of nine, five, and four. First time these teams have faced each other this season. Winner of this one will go on to face Schoolcraft in the second round, and the winner of this game will be hosting Schoolcraft on Wednesday, either Comstock hosting that or Fenville hosting that, depending on who wins this game. Schoolcraft was a team that drew the first round by. Other teams in the district, games going on today. Paw Paw hosting Parchment with a six o'clock start. Hopkins hosting Delton Kellogg, that one already underway. Delton Kellogg ranked 10th in the final Division III coaches poll, so by rankings, they are the favorite. And then Comstock Fenville here, and the other game, that's the only other game, as Schoolcraft has the bye. So we get set to get this one underway here shortly. Comstock will be dressed in the white with the Carolina blue Trim on the front and back. Comstock written above the number on the front and black shorts for them. Fenville in all black with white numbers on the front and back. Fenville above the number on the front and white striping along the sides. The officials will be wearing red for today's district contest. Fenville coached by Kyle Nevinsel took over the program in 2010. Last season they were eliminated by South Haven in the district tournament. The other side Comstock coached by Justin Ansel. To run through the starters now, first with the visiting Fenville Blackhawks running a 4-4-2, coached by Kyle Nevinsel. Starting defenders will be Steven mendoza Win, Miguel Castillo, Mauricio Bedoya, and Miguel Martinez. Midfielders, Omar Diaz, Diego Garcia, Jaime Flores, and Christian mendoza Win. Forwards are Juan Romero and John Serrato, and in goal for them will be Andy Estrada. Estrada will be clad in orange, the rest of his teammates in black. For Comstock, they'll be running a 4-4-2. Defenders are Brandon Willis, Jesse Mortimer, Kyle Moore, and Marcus Cannon. Midfielders, Eric Miller, Zach Taube, Seth Ansel, and Fernando Placencia. Forwards, David Thomas and Evan Veenheis. And the goalkeeper is Logan Hicks. And Hicks will be clad in the highlighter green and aqua blue. His teammates in Comstock will be going left to right. Fenville going right to left in the first half. 40 minutes on the clock. And the Colts at 19 and 2. District champions last year. Averaging four goals per game, many of those coming from Evan Veenheis. The start of the season, they were wondering how they were going to replace Mubarak Hassan's 59 goals. Veenheis getting 52 so far this season. Fenville on the other side. Leading goal scorer for them is John Serrato. He has 14 on the season. And Serrato will have the opening touch as Fenville will begin with the ball. He's a senior, also has four assists on the season. Whistle blows and we are underway. The postseason has begun in Michigan. Fenville gets it past midfield over at the far side. Juan Romero, two defenders with him, tries to pass it through some traffic and it's denied by Eric Miller. Over at the far side, taken back by Miguel Martinez for Fenville. Still in the mid third, Blackhawks hold possession Pass it toward the near side. Mauricio Bedoya, a junior with two assists on the year, pops it forward along the touch line, but too far forward, and it'll be a throw in for Comstock. First minute, throw in comes to Veenheis. Colts trying to get it past midfield for the first time, but they cannot. And it is taken back by Fenville.
over at the far side. They put it along the touch line, but that is intercepted by Willis. Mid it in, no score. Blackhawks get it back. Diego Garcia tries to boot it into the attacking third. It's headed back the other way by the Colts. On the edge of the attacking third goes Eddie Mendoza. They send it toward the 18. Cannon trying to cut off Serrato. And eventually Comstock sends it out of play, but it will be a throw in for Fenville. Minute and a half in. Neither team with a shot, although Fenville's had the ball on the good side of midfield the entire time thus far. Comstock trying to change that as Wienheis steals it away. Gets a pass to Fernando Placencia, but they lose it in the center circle and back to Fenville. Two minutes in. Over by the far side. Again, Fenville's had the ball on the good side of midfield the entire time. They haven't really gotten into the attacking third. Out of play at the far side, throw in Blackhawks. No recent meetings between these teams. Both of them have faced Schoolcraft, who the winner will face again in the district semifinals. Comstock beating the Eagles 2-1, and Fenville winning 7-1. Here come the Blackhawks on the edge of the attacking third. Juan Romero centers it for Christian Mendoza win. Now back outside for Garcia, about 35 yards out. Tries a centering pass to Flores. Comstock comes up with it, and Fernando Placencia clears it out of immediate danger. Three minutes in, no score. Both of these teams also face Delton Kellogg at one point, who is the district favorite as... Comstock gets it past midfield briefly, but taken away by Diego Garcia. But Fenville loses it out of play over by the Comstock bench and a throw in for the Colts. Delton Kellogg ranked 10th in the final Division III coaches poll, so they are the favorite as they play Hopkins in their first round game. Delton had a draw scoreless against Fenville. Delton victorious over Comstock when they met 3-1. And those games took place within a day of each other. But granted, all that matters is winning now as Comstock gets it past midfield over by the Fenville bench. Lost out of play, Fenville has the throw in. Through four minutes, no score yet. Neither team getting a shot thus far. As Fenville very nearly turned it over and gave an opportunity for Wienheis to take off. Comstock will get a throw in though on the edge of the attacking third. Here's their first real chance. Tauby throws it in near the arc and cleared away by Bedoya. Serrato comes up with it at midfield for Fenville. A long boot forward from center all the way to the 18, where it's scooped up by Logan Hicks, the Comstock keeper. Taking over the starting roles of freshmen this season, replacing an honorable mention all-state selection of Mason House last year, but Hicks has done good work. As a team, they're allowing 1.2 per game on the season. 19 and two overall. Four and a half minutes in, no score yet. Another young keeper on the other side, Andy Estrada for Fenville. He's a sophomore. Neither keepers had to do a whole lot of anything here in the first five minutes. So they go out, out of play again over at the near side and it will be a throw in for the Colts. Thrown in by Marcus Cannon. And Fenville takes it back at the center line, but then poked loose by Eric Miller for Comstock. Nobody there as he tries to center it near midfield. Diaz tried to take it forward, but lost it out of play. Throw in Comstock. Through five and a half minutes, no score. District 34 first round match here from Comstock High. At halftime, we'll try to get score updates from the other games in the district and other districts Starting up today, of course, some districts starting up tomorrow. We've got Marshall and Parma Western tomorrow here on the Slocum Sports Network over in a Division II district. Fenville Bedoy at midfield, a long feed forward, trying to race it down is Serrato. He's got one defender in front of him, and Kyle Moore will take the ball away from him at the near corner, and Comstock gets it out of their defensive third. Taken back, though, by Jaime Flores. The senior has one goal and assist on the year. 
Through six minutes, both teams looking for their first shot still. Fenville gets it over toward the far corner. Christian Mendoza win, tries a bad angle shot, and it goes out of play over at the far post area. Not going to score from that type of angle, but first shot really that either team's had. As Our first sub of the game will be Victor Placencia in for Comstock in place of Zach Tauby. Placencia, the older brother of Fernando, he's got a goal and four assists on the year. Just about seven minutes in, no score yet, as Comstock gets the ball at midfield off of the goal kick by Hicks. Taken away by Christian Mendoza win. He's been impressive for Fenville, only a freshman, but he sec is second on the team in goals with eight and first with 12 assists. Over at midfield, Comstock has it. Ansel near the center circle gets poked away from him by Miguel Castillo. Comstock sends it the other way to the edge of the attacking third, but Bedoya denies that for Fenville. Here comes Fenville into the attacking third along the far side. They've got three forwards against three defenders and a great steal by Kyle Moore. And he'll get a throw in off of that. Great work by the senior captain. First team all-conference selection last year for Comstock. Through eight minutes, no score. Fenville tries to pop it into the attacking third. Headed back the other way. And Wienheis will come up with it for Comstock. He tries to charge ahead to the center line. Omar Diaz trying to get the ball off of him. And he does as Wienheis crashes and burns. Romero for Fenville tries to get ahead for Mendoza win. Over toward the far corner, it will go out and it will be a throw in for Fenville. Best chance either team's really had yet. Through eight minutes, no score, no shots on goal. The sophomore with six goals, Diaz throws it in. Fenville in the black and white, Comstock in the white and sky blue. Christian Mendoza win, takes a shot, it's deflected off of a defender and Hicks will dive on top of it at the near post. Our first shot on goal. So we've played nine minutes. No score between Comstock and Fenville. Blackhawks get it back at center and boot it all the way into the box, but well ahead of any Blackhawk attacker. So Hicks again will easily scoop it up. Jordan Slocum with you on the Slocum Sports Network. Appreciate you joining us here on this Monday. Sunny skies, mid 50s to start the soccer postseason. Comstock gets it past midfield, and they lose it. Miguel Martinez knocks it out of play for Fenville, so a throw in for the Colts. Throwing it in at the far side is Willis. They trade headers along the far side at midfield. Ansel tries a bicycle kick to move it forward. No luck on that, as it will go out and be a throw in for Fenville. We remain scoreless through our first 10 minutes. Blackhawks trying to get into the attacking third. They'll get another throw in. On the edge of the attacking third, Romero tries to charge into the corner but loses it out and a throw in for Comstock. Ten minutes in, no score. Sent right out out of the throw in. Another throw in for Comstock as they're still in their defensive third. And it's taken away off the throw in by Jaime Flores for Fenville. As Christian Mendoza win about 35 yards out, chips it into the box, but nobody there for the Blackhawks, and Hicks will scoop it up. Goal kick hits Wienheis at midfield, but then Comstock Turns it over in the center circle to Christian Mendoza win. Through 11 minutes, we remain scoreless. Season on the line for both squads. Fenville taking it toward the near corner. They'll get a throw in. Diego Garcia, the senior defenseman, will 
throw it in. He's got three assists on the season. Throws it into the box at the near side. Serrato comes along the goal line. Knocked loose by Thomas. They try across to the far post. Headed the wrong direction. Fenville tracks it back down on the edge of the attacking third. 11 and a half minutes in. Diaz tries to get it into the box. It's cleared the other way by Moore. Sent back to the arc by Fenville. Uh, the Colts come away with the ball. And they reject it out to midfield again. Taken back by Bedoya for Fenville. They can't keep it in along the near touch line, so a throw in will come for Comstock. Through 12 minutes, Fenville's controlled possession, but neither team really with any opportunities. The one shot on goal thus far coming from Fenville. Jordan Slocum with you again here on the Slocum Sports Network. At halftime, we'll have this week in high school sports from the MHSAA, as well as scoring recap if we have any scoring to recap. We'll try to get other scores from other districts. Again, we've got four districts in four days coming up on the Slocum Sports Network. Tomorrow, Marshall and Parma Western over in Division II, then Division II semis from Gold Lake Wednesday, and Division I semis from Lakeview on Thursday. A lot of great action ahead as we start the soccer postseason. Comstock with it near midfield. The Colts in the white and blue. Fenville in the black and white. Officials in red. As the Colts get it past center for the first time in a while. And they'll get a throw in on the edge of their attacking third. We've played 13 minutes, no score. Can the Colts change that? Throwing it in will be the junior, Fernando Placencia. Three goals and four assists for him. Honorable mention all conference last year. They throw it in toward the corner. It will go out and it will be a goal kick. Villa Fuerte and Alvarez will check in for Fenville. Angel Villafuerte, Villafuerte is a freshman and Alvarez is a sophomore. Willis Sports Agents offering dedicated representation to athletes who are serious about elevating their professional careers through contract negotiations, endorsements, media relations, and community outreach. Willis Sports Agents help to show you the money. Visit online at willis.law. No score here, Comstock and Fenville through about 14 minutes of play. Now it is the postseason, so if this game is tied after regulation, we will have overtimes, followed by penalty kicks if needed. As Comstock gets it to the attacking third, Wienheis will try to charge in about 30 yards out. Passes to Ansel in the box, but diving on top of it is the keeper Estrada before Ansel can get to it. Save 20% at all Grand Rapids Napa stores throughout the month of October by purchasing a 99 cent bag. Take advantage of this Savings to save on everything from brakes and struts right down to windshield wipers and fluid. This amazing deal won't last long, so please hurry into your local Napa Auto Parts store. Some restrictions may apply only at participating locations. Fenville trying to get it into the attacking third, and here they go. Fiafuerte taken away. Good work by Willis, but Fenville gets it back. They take it over toward the far corner. Flag goes up, and foul will go against Fenville. Free kick for the Colts. 15 minutes in, we have no score from Comstock High. Free kick comes from Kyle Moore, flies into the center circle. Taken away by Bedoya for Fenville, who boots it forward back into the box. Serrato tries to charge ahead with the ball. He'll stop at the box. Two defenders in front of him, takes it to the 18. Taken away by Cannon, though. Great job for Comstock and the junior defenseman. Sent back into the box by Martinez from way out there, but they can't get a shot off, and it will be a goal kick for Hicks. Through 15 minutes, no score. Angel Perez will come in for Fenville, senior midfielder with two goals on the year. Number 17, Angel Perez. He'll come in in place of Romero. It's that time of year when you start to think about preseason service to get snowblowers ready for this season. Weingarts, located on Northland Drive, just north of 14 Mile, has a large selection of 2015 and 2016 
Two-stage and three-stage Cub Cadet snowblowers from 100 to 500 off regular sales price. While supplies last, so don't wait. Go into Winegards or check them out at winegards.com to see their selection of new and closeout snowblowers. Also go see them for all your fall cleanup equipment needs. Still no score with about 24 minutes remaining here in the first half from Comstock. Only the one shot on goal so far from Fenville as the Blackhawks have it in the center circle. And they'll get a free kick on a foul. It'll come about 45 yards or so away from the net. Taking this will be Steven Mendoza win. Doesn't get much air on it, deflected up near the arc as Comstock tries to head it out of danger. No luck there. Serrato along the 18, tries to split a couple defenders. He does, but more able to prevent a shot try. Still kept in the edge of the attacking third by Fenville as they try to break the scoreless deadlock. Good pass ahead to Alvarez, but then his pocket is picked. Great job by Cannon. Veen Heist comes up with it for the Colts. He'll take it past midfield. He's got a winger on each side. Chips it forward for Ansel on the edge of the attacking third. Bedoya able to get it out off of Ansel for a throw in for Fenville. 22 and a half minutes remain in the first half. No score. Season on the line. Comstock at 19 and 2 overall. Fenville 9, 5, and 4. Winner to play Schoolcraft on Wednesday in the District 34 semifinal. On the other side, you've got Paw Pond Parchment facing off, as well as 10th ranked Delton Kellogg and Hopkins. Fenville tries a long boot past midfield. Thomas got in the way of that one, but the Blackhawks regain possession. Bedoya tries a long feed. Colts deny that opportunity once again. Through 18 minutes, no score. Out of play in front of the Comstock bench. Throw in comes for Fenville, thrown in by Flores. Serrato takes it over toward the near corner. He'll get a throw in over by the corner. Can Fenville get the game's first goal? Armando Alvarez throws it in. He gets it back over at the corner. And a handball will be called against Fenville as they couldn't quite control it. And that's a good break there for Comstock because they tried a shot before the whistle. Hicks did make the save up at the near post. Through about 19 minutes, no scores. The free kick is headed past midfield by Comstock, but nobody there for it offensively. Castillo knocks it the other way for Fenville. Out of play at the far touch line. Deflected off of a Colt, so throw in Fenville. No score here from Comstock High. Throw in comes along the far touch line for Perez. Tries to take it to the corner, but he lost it out of play. Throw in Colts. Subs for Comstock. Freshman Kyle Mortimer in in the midfield. He's got three assists on the year and another number freshman in the midfield Colts, as well, 15, Alex Kish. Kyle Mortimer and number 15, Alex Kish. Thomas will come out, as will Fernando Placencia. Just about halfway through the first, no score here from Comstock. Colts throw it in to get it out of their defensive third, but regained by Fenville at midfield. They boot it into the box, a lot of traffic. Colts trying to get it out, they can't quite do it. Out of play, throw in Fenville over at the far corner. About 20 yards from the net. Jaime Flores puts it into the corner for Villafuerte. Now chipped into the box, headed up by Moore for the Colts. Kept in for a moment. Now Comstock gets it out of immediate danger. They try the long boot ahead, see if they could get a rush for Wienheis, but Fenville prevents that try. Halfway through the first, we're scoreless. Only one shot on goal between the two teams, and that was by Fenville. Comstock gets it over by the Fenville bench, and they will get a free kick as Wienheis was fouled over at the near touch line. So this free kick will come about 40 yards out or so. 
Taking it will be Marcus Cannon. Right-footed strike goes over toward the arc, headed the other way by Fenville. And cleared out by Castillo. Comstock takes it back. But a sloppy pass is stolen by Christian Mendoza Win. He tries a long tip forward. Now Serrato trying to outrace two defenders. It will go out along the goal line, and it will be, is this a goal kick or a corner? It's going to be a goal kick. As Omar Diaz back in, replacing Jaime Flores for Fenville, and David Thomas back in for Comstock. He comes in in place of Miller. Willis Law, business and estate planning with a Christian worldview. Experienced attorneys in Kalamazoo and Grand Rapids offering fixed price legal services to West Michigan. Visit online at Willis. Dot law. Again, that's Willis.law. We've played 22 minutes of district boys soccer. We have no score with Fenville and Comstock. From Comstock High, Fenville gets it back off of the goal kick, and they lose it out of play over by the Colt bench, and it'll be a throw in. Colts coached by Justin Ansel at 19 2 0, and Fenville at 9 5 4, coached by Kyle Nevinsel. Comstock loses it quickly out of play, though, so now Fenville will get the throw in. Again at half, we have this time or uh, this week in high school sports from the MHSAA. Technically, last week's edition. They don't update the new one until Tuesday. Fenville on the edge of the attacking third. Christian Mendoza win. Centers it for Diaz about 40 yards out. He whiffs on his pass, though, and Comstock takes it back. Brandon Willis tries a charge to midfield. Two defenders in front of him and taken away by Mendoza Huynh. 17 minutes remain here in the first half with no score. And really no opportunities either between either team as Comstock sends it ahead, trying to track it down as Ansel, but the two backline defenders get there first. And fancy moves by Bedoya, keeps it away from a charging Colt. Now Bedoya gets it past midfield and the Colts kick it out of play, throw in Fenville. Subs will come in for the Blackhawks, Luke Garpow and Juan Romero will return. Save 20% at all Grand Rapids Napa stores throughout the month of October by purchasing a 99 cent bag. Take advantage of this savings to save on everything from brakes and struts right down to windshield wipers and fluid. And the amazing deal won't last long, so please hurry into your local Napa Auto Parts store. Some restrictions may apply and only participating locations. Out of play off the throw-in. The throw-in goes to Comstock with 16 minutes to go in the first half and no score. Or they change their mind. No, they're going to say a Fenville throw in. So Fenville with a throw in on in the attacking third. Diaz puts it over toward the corner, near edge of the box. Back out to Diaz, trying to get it to the arc. Thomas deflects it for Comstock. Ansel gets it out of danger. He's got four black shirts surrounding him. But he's able to force a throw in, so good work by one of the team captains, Seth Ansel, the senior. Second on the team in goals with 12, and first with 15 assists. 15 and a half minutes remain in the first half, scoreless. This District 34 first round match. As they traded at midfield. Wienheis tries to head it forward for Comstock. No luck there. Mauricio Bedoya, junior defender, shanks it out of bounds, throw in Comstock, but first they return Eric Miller to the match. Kish comes out. Again, we've got four districts in four days here on the Slocum Sports Network. Head to slocumsports.com for the upcoming broadcast schedule. This Colts force another throw in, this one about 30 yards farther to the net. Junior Cannon will throw it in. Flings it into the box. Wienheis trying to track it down at the penalty spot. Gets a shot and just goes wide at the left post. I think Estrada got just a piece on it, and he did. So it will be a corner kick. That's a great save by the sophomore keeper diving to his left. Our first save of the contest, and now our first corner of the contest comes for Comstock. 14 minutes to go here in the first half. 
Taking it will be the junior, Fernando Placencia, at the near corner. Left-footed strike. Wienheis tries to settle it down. The header didn't go through. Picked up, shanked. Loose still in the box. Fenville finally gets it out. Cannon picks it back up. He shoots it toward the net and picked up at the near post by the keeper, Estrada. By far the best opportunity either team has had at scoring. Comstock comes up empty. No score still here with 13 and a half minutes to go in the first half. Fenville gets to the edge of the attacking third, recovered by Willis, but then taken away. Romero with it for the Blackhawks. Miller takes it from him over at the far corner. Comstock looking to get it out of danger. Uh-oh. They lost it, but they got it back. Good job by Fernando Placencia on the recovery. Fenville boots it back into the attacking third. Comstock heads it out of immediate danger. With 13 minutes to go in the first half, no score. Blackhawks get it back, Mendoza win. And then Moore sends it away to midfield again for Comstock. Martinez gets it into the attacking third. So Mendoza win at the arc for Fenville. A little tap to his left for Diaz. Back to Mendoza win, right-footed shot. Sails over the net. And over the football goal post as well. You do not get three points for that. Joshua Akuk in for the first time for Fenville. John Serrato and Diego Garcia back in as well. Garcia, senior midfielder. Serrato starting senior forward. And Akuk is a forward as well. 12 minutes to go here in the first. No score. Comstock cranks it past midfield. And goes out over at the Fenville bench. Throw in for the Colts. Minutes ago, Comstock had the closest opportunity. Two saves made by the sophomore Estrada. He's in orange, his teammates in black. Comstock in white, black, and blue. And their keeper Hicks in the highlighter green and the aqua blue. As Fenville clears it back to the center circle. Jesse Mortimer plays it off his chest. But then a shank by Cannon trying to pass it forward. So Fenville will have an opportunity for a rush. And they'll get a throw in over by the Comstock bench. Just about 11 minutes left here in the first half. Both teams trying to get the first goal. Diego Garcia flings it toward the arc, headed the other way by Comstock. Wienheis comes up with it, takes it past center. Ansel running to his right. The two defenders able to get it away from Wienheis. They know to keep an eye on him. He has 52 goals on the season. One of only a few guys, not a, a huge list of guys that have scored 50 or more in a season in the state. <coughs> Svenville will get it into the box, but nobody there, and Hicks scoops it up. Last year was Mubarak Hassan for Comstock, who had 59. Vinhai stepping up and filling that production this year. He's only a junior. Svenville loses it out of play. And Throw in for Comstock in the far corner as the Colts bring Victor Placencia in in place of Kyle Mortimer. It's that time of year when you start to think about preseason service to get snowblowers ready for this season. Weingart's located at Northland Drive, just north of 14 Mile, has a large selection of 2015 and 2016 two-stage and three-stage Cub Cadet snowblowers from $100 to $500 off the regular sales price while those supplies last. As Wienheis will try to charge ahead for the Colts, He'll get a throw in on the edge of the attacking third. Go to Weingarts.com for more details on the snowblowers and all your fall cleanup equipment needs. Colts throw it in. Wienheis gets it, tries to chip it toward the net. Colts wanted a handball, no call, and it ends up in the hands of the keeper, Estrada. Nine and a half minutes to go as Fenville sends it past midfield, too far in front of the charging John Serrato. He's their leading goal scorer with 14 on the season. As they trade it here at midfield. Again at halftime, we have this week in high school sports from the MHSAA. 
well as the upcoming broadcast schedules. Thomas tries to send it forward for Comstock, just past the center line. They retreat to Moore inside the circle. Moore tries to get it ahead to Placencia, sent back by the Blackhawks. They try it again. Now Placencia off to Thomas. Colts have to retreat once more. Eight and a half minutes remain in the first half. The way this game is going, whoever gets the first goal might be the only goal you need. Colts take it at center. Long boot forward for Wienheis. But getting in the way of it was Bedoya. Good defensive work from him as he heads it out of play into the Fenville bench. So a throw in for Comstock. About 50 yards away from the net. Marcus Cannon waits for a few of his teammates to move forward. Now he'll fling it in with eight minutes to go. Over toward the arc, Thomas comes up with it. Diaz knocks him off the ball though. So no shot try for Comstock. Fenville with two forwards ahead. They try to get it to him. Colts will track it down first about 30 yards out. Mortimer and cleared out by Cannon. With seven and a half minutes to go in the first half, we are scoreless. David Thomas with it at center for Comstock. Miscommunication with him and Seth Ansel. Fenville takes it back. John Serrato. Left-footed smack forward, cleared out into the Comstock bench, throw in Fenville. Alex Kish back in for the Colts. Jaime Flores for Fenville. Thomas comes out for Comstock. And out for Fenville is Akuk. Willis Law, business and estate planning with a Christian worldview. Experienced attorneys in Kalamazoo and Grand Rapids offering fixed price legal services to West Michigan. Visit online at willis.law. Another throw in for Fenville as it deflects out. This throw in comes about 30 yards away from the net. Seven minutes to go here in the first half. We are scoreless. Flores gets it to the 18. And a good steal and clear by Kyle Moore. Fenville takes it back in the center circle. Steven Mendoza Hoon, or Win, excuse me, gets it over to uh, his brother Christian. They try to find Serrato at the 18, but that's denied. And now Ansel will try to move forward. Four defenders in the back line against Ansel and Wienheis, and usually the numbers game favors a team with more, and it does here for Fenville. Down to six minutes to go before the half. Fenville playing on their back line, being harassed by Wienheis. Blackhawks send it past the center. Out of play, throw in Comstock. Colts in the white, blue, and black. Black and white for Fenville. Keepers, Hicks in green and blue. Orange for Estrada. And the officials today in red. Five and a half minutes to go in the first half. Out of play again. The throw in for Comstock on the edge of their defensive third. Colts will sub Thomas back in. Junior midfielder, six goals and four assists on the year. And David Thomas replaces Alex Kish. Fenville, I'd say, has controlled the possession maybe 60-40. Haven't had much to show for it. They'll try a long shot, and it goes well over the net. When you shoot it from about 40 yards out, going to have a tough time, and that came from Serrato, so a goal kick will come for Hicks. Save 20% at all Grand Rapids Napa stores throughout the month of October by purchasing a 99 cent bag. Take advantage of this savings to save on everything from brakes and struts right down to windshield wipers and fluid. This amazing deal won't last long, so please hurry into your local Napa Auto Parts store. Some restrictions may apply only at participating locations. 420 remains in the first half. No score. Off the goal kick, Fenville gets it back. Pass it toward the arc. Nobody there, though, for the Blackhawks. And the Colts clear it out to center. Cut off at the center line by Miguel Castillo. Tries to send it forward to Mendoza Win. 
Romero comes up with it, takes a long shot, goes wide of the net at the near post. Another goal kick coming up for Comstock. At halftime, we have this week in high school sports from the MHSAA. And we'll also try to get some other scores from other districts with the postseason beginning for many boys' soccer teams today. Others will start tomorrow. Colts get it to center, but lose it out, and a throw in for Fenville. It's been a very clean game. Not a whole lot in terms of fouls. We've had one corner kick between the two teams. Very clean, very smart defensive play. Neither team's allowed terribly many opportunities. Now Comstock gets it past midfield. Ansel tries to get it ahead for Wienheis. Martinez was back on the defensive line to clear it away. Edge of the attacking third, Ansel. Can't do anything with it, but they say he was fouled, so a free kick for Comstock. This will come about 45 yards from the net. Right in the center of the pitch. Under three minutes to go in the first half. Taking the kick will be Kyle Moore. Moore boots it into the box. It's headed right back out, settled down by Miller outside the arc. Passes to his right to Victor Placencia. Placencia gives it to Wienheis on the near edge of the box. Wienheis into the box, two defenders with him. He takes it out to the arc. Wienheis wanted to take a shot, tries to draw a foul, and they're going to give it to him. Mm. I think that was some good acting by Evan Wienheis, and that's going to be a free kick just outside of the box near the arc. Two minutes to go, and this free kick will come about 23 yards away, and it will be centered. Taking it will be Evan Wienheis. With a minute 40 to go. Ansel and Fernando Placencia are both there as well. We'll see if either take it. I imagine this is going to be Wienheis. Can this be what the Colts need to get on the board before halftime? Actually, Ansel, nope, it is going to be Wienheis. He keeps it on the ground. He shoots, and oh, just getting it at the mirror post was Estrada, the diving save. Throw-in will come for Comstock at the near side. Another great save. Estrada has robbed Wienheis twice in this match. Colts still have a chance with a minute 10 to go. Put it into the box. Cleared away by Serrato. Colts keep it on the edge of the defensive third. Over near the Fenville bench. Goes out. And we'll have a whistle. And a throw in will come for Comstock. 45 seconds to go. Fenville heads it out of the Defensive third, they get it to center. Juan Romero trying to get a rush going for Fenville. Colts send it back. Now big boot by Mendoza win for Fenville. Finding it is more defensively for Comstock. 25 seconds to go before halftime. They traded at center. Fenville wanted a handball as it went into Ansel, but they did not get the call. Steven Mendoza win takes the ball anyway. He's at center midfield. 10 seconds to go. One Nine. last chance for Fenville. Nine. Along the far post Seven. for Romero. Two. Over toward the far Five. corner, Christian Mendoza Four. win. Four seconds Three. left. Two. He's got to take a One. shot, and he never did from the box. He finally did take the shot, and he put it into the net, but the buzzer had clearly sounded, and the game will remain scoreless. So we go into halftime. Got to take that shot. Three or four seconds sooner, and you might have had a goal. After 40 minutes of play, no score between Comstock and Fenville. Postseason soccer action from Comstock High. 